Every month I pay this wastewater bill. I wonder what it actually pays for. Have you ever thought about how much water your household uses each day? All the water from sinks, fixtures, and appliances leave your house and enter the city's collection system. Did you know that we generate millions of gallons of wastewater a day? So where does it go? Meridian has hundreds of miles of pipeline that move wastewater from your houses and businesses to a central treatment plant. All of the pipes laid end-to-end -end would stretch from Meridian to the Pacific Ocean or to Yellowstone National Park. Wastewater enters small pipes as it leaves your house and the size of the pipe increases as more and more houses are added into the collection system. These pipes move a lot of wastewater. Wastewater flows primarily from your house to the treatment plant with the help of gravity. Every now and then a lift station pumps the flow up so it can resume flowing by gravity again. There are more than 10 lift stations throughout our collection system. When the wastewater gets to the treatment plant, we use an intricate balance of physical, biological, and chemical processes to treat or clean the wastewater before it goes back into Five Mile Creek and eventually the Boise River. Let's take a quick tour of the plant. We treat the wastewater in six steps. The front door of the treatment plant is called the headworks where large solids are removed. Unfortunately, we often find things like diapers, wipes, rags, and other type of trash that should never have been flushed down the toilet. A quarter inch diameter screen allows natural solids to pass through for separate treatment. The next step is primary treatment, where two 80 foot diameter clarifiers go to work. Think of these clarifiers as a wide spot in a stream where the flow of the wastewater slows way down so solids can settle to the bottom of the tank for removal and floating materials such as oil and grease can be skimmed off the top. The third step starts in the aeration basins where air is pumped into the wastewater at varying levels in order to grow bacteria which eat the stuff we're actually trying to get rid of. We love these wastewater bugs. These helpful bacteria provide the biological processing for us, removing water pollutants. What's great about the City of Meridian's process is that we remove most of the waste without any chemicals, which is better for our environment. At Meridian's wastewater treatment plant, we have aeration basins which together hold millions of gallons of water. That's a lot of water. Next, the leftovers from the first hungry bacteria enter the aerobic zone, where oxygen is added to the water so that a different kind of bacteria can get to work. In this zone, you can see all the bubbles we're making. Step four in this process is the secondary clarifiers. They work like the primary clarifiers, a wide spot in the stream where again, solids settle out and floating material can be skimmed off the surface. The fifth step is the filtration process, or what we call tertiary treatment. Now we're removing very small pollutants using cloth media filters about a tenth the diameter of a human hair. Our sixth and final liquid treatment step is critical. One of the most significant threats to human health is waterborne pathogens, so it's critical to disinfect the water before sending it to the river. Water is disinfected using ultraviolet light. The water is sent through UV lamps, kind of like what you see in tanning booths, only way stronger. The UV light inactivates the bacteria that are left in the water before we discharge it. Some of the treated water is recycled and reused in the city. The City of Meridian has the first Class A citywide recycled water permit in the entire state of Idaho. We are permitted to use recycled water for irrigation, fire suppression, toilet flushing, and other commercial uses. Water that isn't recycled is discharged to Five Mile Creek. Do you remember those solids we removed from the wastewater in the early process at the treatment plant? The solids treatment includes removing moisture from the organic material to reduce the volume of waste. Solids are treated in digesters where it is heated to break down the organic material. Once that is finished, the remaining solids are called biosolids, which are quite dry and can be used as a soil amendment. The gas that is produced in the digester, where the solid treatment happens, is used to heat the digester and provides energy at the plant, saving money on natural gas. Biosolids that are not beneficially reused are trucked to the landfill for disposal. 
In order to get more value from all the processes at the treatment plant, the City of Meridian continues to conduct pilot programs such as biosolids composting so the product may be put to good use. Basically, the only thing you should ever flush down a toilet is human waste and toilet paper. Here's a list of some things to keep out of the toilet. Instead of flushing these items, use the free, convenient disposal and recycling services in Meridian. Prescription drug Take Back is provided by our Meridian Police Department, and Meridian hosts a weekly drop-off event for household hazardous waste, from auto fluids to old televisions. For details on these programs and more, check out the website below. So that's where my money goes when I pay my wastewater bill. 